Thursday, December 29th, day four in Vegas. Beautiful day out here. Just checked out. I'm gonna go stay at my buddy's place. You ever curious how much you could fit in the trunk of a new Miata? Not very much. It's about 5.30 in the afternoon. I had to VPN in and get some work done for month end. Brandon and I just discussed some hands for the last hour. Um, just reviewed some of the hands that we got into yesterday. So I suggest if you guys want to get good at, good at the game of poker, find somebody that you can discuss hands with and give you a different view, different angle on how you can approach ways that you played the hand and different lines that you could have taken. Even if you think you did everything right, there's always a different angle that you can observe or think about. Something's going down, that is a huge ass fire. So we literally pulled up, walked in, poker in the brain. So what happened here? Uh, can you put priest on one three? Priest? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Seems like a pretty cool room. Um, they don't have any 2-5 games going right now, so we're gonna play some 1-3. Brandon, you ready? I'm ready. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna play 1-3. Okay. No diamond. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you kidding me? On the river. They didn't have 2-5 here, but decided to play 1-3. First time at the Orleans, wanted to try it out, see how it was. I'm playing freaking awesome right now. Um, unfortunately, I'm in for three buy-ins at $300 a piece. So I'm in for 900 bucks. The first buy-in, I lost pocket queens to ace-king. We got it in pre-flop. Uh, I made a three bet, I got four bet. And... Queen held up until the river. He spiked an ace on the river and I got stacked. Second buy-in, bought another 300. Uh, pocket queens again. And I get it in against ace queen. And he had, he hit Broadway. <laughs> yeah, long story short. Um, I don't really want to go into the details of it, but. So got stacked again, bought another $300. And playing extremely well, still reading weakness like crazy. I read a guy really weak. I had pocket fours, called his, well, he raised preflop, I called. Made a C bet, I called. Turn, he checked, I bet. River, he makes a really big bet, and I call. He had ace-king. Um, pretty much what I put him on was like some kind of overcards, just a live read that I had. And, Another hand, I raised with pocket threes in late position. We, I raised to $15, standard raise, what I've been doing all night. Got three or four callers. Flop comes, I flop a three. There's a jack out there and like an eight or a nine. Somebody early bets, that's really big out. He bets $40. I flat, we see a turn, just me and him. He checks it to me. Rather than slow playing it and letting him bet into the river, I decide to uh, decide to take control of the, of the hand, and I bet $55. And 
uh, this is a really aggressive player, and I, I, you know, I, I kind of want to let him hang himself. I mean, maybe he had a jack. Oh, there was a seven out there. That's what it was. So it's jack seven. Uh, anyways, the river comes. Now it's a seven. He instantly opens shoves. Effective stack. Uh, what did he have last? Like a 300 something. And I snap call. He's like, you have it? I'm like, yeah, I got to go. Flip it over. Full house. Double up. And right now I have 830 in front of me. In for $900. Down about 70, but yeah, I'm really okay with that. Um, the, the way that I've been running has it, been win, loss, win, loss, win. So that's five sessions. This is session number six. It's supposed to be a loss. <laughs> no, it's not supposed to be a loss because um, it's poker's not gambling. But I'm gonna see if I can come back and run up the you know run the stack even more, get out of the red. Players at the table are, some of them are okay, uh, a couple regulars, but some exploitable people as well. So I'm gonna keep playing. It's, it's 217. Um, feel really good, not tired at all. Let's go. Guys, guess what? We got unstuck. 4.30 in the morning, we were in for 900, cashed out 11.44. Profit of 2.44, played for six hours. Overall, freaking awesome session. Not a big win, mostly because we only played one three no limit. Uh, I say it was an awesome session because played well almost every single hand I put in. I played in. Put people in bad spots, made awesome moves. Had to end the video because my Uber driver got here, but now I'm home. Well, at my buddy's house. But a couple things to learn from the session today. You can be stuck for a lot of money, but as long as you have the bankroll to support the swings, as long as you're confident in your play. Don't let the bad beats get you down. If you're playing a solid game, you know you're playing solid. You know, keep doing what you're doing. The two losses that I had from the first two buy-ins, um, the first one was almost a coin flip, pretty much a coin flip, pocket queens versus ace king. It's pretty, you know, pretty classic um, matchup. And, you know, you can't lose sleep over losing a coin flip. It's 300 bucks. Um, as long as you have the bankroll to support it, you, know, you shouldn't, you know, it shouldn't bother you. Same thing with the second buy-in. What are you gonna do? Just, you know, play your game. Buy in again. Make sure you're playing within your limits, and play good. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Next episode coming tomorrow. Well, whenever I get time to edit. I'm sorry that these are coming out a couple days later than I'm playing, but I'm here in Vegas, you know, I'm playing as much as I can, and uh, I'll try my best to get videos out to you guys. Peace.